Reimu, it's your special day, isn't it? You're off by a few weeks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry I missed it. It's fine. I don't care about my birthday anyway. Besides, me and Marisa hung out on that evening. What did you do? Took a joyride in the outside world. And how was it? The streets were dirty. There were so many homeless walking around, drug dealers and prostitutes on every corner. We felt right at home. But I found a quarter on the ground so it was worth it. Well, speaking of the outside world, if you're still interested in getting a gift, I may have something for you. What is this? It's an item from the outside world. It's called a hot tub. And what's it for? I had to do some research, but I think I now know what it is. In the past, humans would offer sacrifices to their pagan gods and they would do so by boiling them alive in a basin. The screams of pain and agony of the poor hapless victim being boiled alive in hot water would echo throughout the ceremony. Then, after the boiling hot water would devour their victim, they would dip themselves in the bloody remains to bathe in it, believing that they could gain some of their god's ancient power in doing so. The ritual would end in devouring the remains like a soup, but if you keep the water at a certain temperature, it makes for a nice relaxing bath. Oh that sounds rather nice. Would you like to take it home with you? You're giving it to me? But why? The souls of the dead that haunt this hot tub is too much for me to handle. And since you are a shrine maiden, perhaps you can exorcise them to finally move on to paradise. Then it will be clear of all impurities to have a nice relaxing bath. Hmm. The tub didn't seem to go into an extreme hot boil like Renoski mentioned, but he was right about the temperature. This is going to be great. I sure could use a nice long soak. Happy birthday! That was a few weeks ago. Well, I'm constantly drunk, so I can't tell the difference between today and yesterday. Anyway, Happy New Year! That was also a few weeks ago. Happy Hanukkah! Well, thank you anyways. At least you're trying. What's that thing over there? Oh, that's my new hot tub. I'm going to take a soak. Oh, I want to take a soak too. You're going to have to come back some other time. Maybe. I want to try the hot tub first and I want to be alone for the time being. So you're just going to have to come back later. Maybe. But I want to relax in the hot tub, too, as I drink my sake. After everything I've gone through, I deserve a break and get away from the nuisance around me. Besides, you're just going to get drunk and vomit everywhere. That's no fair. You can't just hold that hot tub all for yourself. Yes, I can, so beat it already. Well, I don't care about your stupid hot tub anyway. Yuji has an entire hot spring all for herself, and she lets me in for free. Then go to her and leave me in my tub alone. Yeah, this is more like it. Though maybe I was a bit too mean to Suika. Now she'll just get drunk and forget about it. Today is all about me. No, An. You can't join. I want to be alone for the time being. I'm not letting you in, An. Just be on your way. I'll play with you later. I feel kind of bad. Kind of. Whoa! You really did get a hot tub! Marisa, what are you doing here? I was borrowing some stuff from Minoski, and he mentioned he gifted you a hot tub. Look at you, living the good life. I sent you a text message not to visit today. I didn't get any message on my phone. You still don't know how to send a text message? I'll never get used to outside world technology. It's just too complicated for me to understand. But anyway, I just want to be alone today, so feel free to take your leave. Can't haunt that hot tub all to yourself. Make room. No, Marisa. I want to be alone for the time being. Buckle up your vest. I'm not letting you in. 
Will you stop stripping and get out of here? Put your clothes back on. I'm not letting you in. I'm being serious. Put your clothes back. What was that? What was what? That look you gave me. What look? That look that says, Dang, she looking good today. I want that in my bed tonight. I didn't gave that look. And you know I can't have impure thoughts. I'm a shrine maiden after all. I'm supposed to be above temptation. A cleansed mind and body. And all that crap that won't allow me to have fun. Is that why you won't sit on one of the jets? Like me? Besides, you're lying to yourself. Every time you go to the human village, you're always eyeing the guys. And some of the girls. Those kind of relationships are frowned upon here in Gensokyo. Imagine the scandal if the human village found out about your past with Alice. You'll become a pariah. But I'm already a pariah. I'm not supposed to set foot in the human village anymore due to my thievery, promiscuity, antisocial behavior, and hygiene. Besides, you don't care about their opinions either. I see how you look at Yukari. At least one particular part of her. That's enough out of you. If you want to stay, then be quiet so I can relax. What's with that look? What look? That mischievous look. I'm not giving a mischievous look. This is just what I look like when I'm at peace. You peed in my hot tub, didn't you? What are you accusing me of? Do you take me as a little kid pulling such a childish prank? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm accusing you of. I wouldn't say to something so juvenile. Stop being so paranoid. Sunai, what are you doing here? I wanted to drop by to wish you a happy birthday. How did you find that out? Marisa, did you tell people about my special day? Well, I kept quiet. You're lying. Only you and a few people I trust know about my special day, and Sunai is not one of them. That's kind of rude. In any case, that was weeks ago and you're too late, so be on your way. But I didn't know you had a hot tub. Mind if I join? No, I want to relax alone. But Marisa is joining you. She's an uninvited guest who won't go away and may or may not have defiled my hot tub. Don't listen to her, Sanai. The truth is, this is my hot tub, and I'm letting her borrow it because she had an unexpected hernia. I beg your pardon? You're free to join us. All right. Wait, no. She's lying. I better not look at them. I'll just try to relax again. You want some? Where did you get that? I always carry snacks with me. No food allowed in my hot tub. Well, what do you know? He really did give you the hot tub. Yukari! I didn't meant to drop by, but when Rinosuke told me that he gave you my old hot tub, I had to see if you liked it. This was your hot tub? Yes, but I bought a newer model and had no use for this one. Well, thanks for the hot tub. I take it you're going to go home and soak in yours, right? Unfortunately, not yet. The tub is still being installed, and I sure could use a soak. Then I take it you're going to take a bath instead, in your own home. Oh come on, are you kidding me? Just go to a hot spring or bathhouse. Why do you want to hang out with a bunch of losers like... Oh, stop it, you. Yeah, Marisa, that's very inappropriate. But you didn't complain with I did it for you. All right, enough. How many times must I repeat myself? If you want to stay here, then zip it, okay? That goes for you too, Yukari. Don't be so rude to our very esteemed guest, Reimu. I mean, is this how you're going to act when the next person comes along? What next person? 
like you're not supposed to join in the first place. I just wanted to be alone. Nah, let's get more people in here. Hey, how about we thank Rinosuke for providing the hot tub by having him join us? No, not him! There's not enough blood in my system to survive that nosebleed. I agree! I'll be uncomfortable if a man joins us in the bath. Oh, so you prefer the company of women when it comes to taking your clothes off, right? Yeah, I guess you could say that. That one flew right by you, didn't it? Huh? It's okay if you want to look. I don't mind. I'm not trying to look. I'm a shrine maiden. I have to remain pure in body, mind, and spirit. And who said that? I don't know, but I assume a bow of chastity is part of being a shrine maiden. Ain't that right, Sanai? No, I don't think so. What do you mean? I don't recall any such thing. But I guess the Maria Shrine is more lax in that regard. Well, at least Lady Asaka is. Lady Maria may actually have a different opinion about it. Well, I don't think the Hakurei Shrine is that liberal on... to have. That's right. Back when those geysers bursted from the ground, we made a loot of good money off that hot spring. Whatever happened to it? High levels of radiation were discovered in the water and made a lot of people sick. We lost a lot of good money from those lawsuits. Sorry about that. Hey, come on! I told you no talking! I'm getting tired of you guys yapping. Jeez, what bit you in the butt? Nobody bit me, but someone grabbed it. It was an eye. Wow! Is that a hot tub? Oh no, not you! Make room for me. I'm going to make a splash entrance. This is not a pool, you idiot! Don't you dare get in here or else I'm going to destroy you! Get ready, because I'm coming in! Brace yourselves. Why did it get so cold all of a sudden? Why do you think? Marisa increased the heat to maximum! It already is! Ah, damn it! Clown piece! Clown piece, get in here already! We need your body heat now! Oh, so now you want me to get into the hot tub? You forced me to carry it up those stairs and then fill it up under threat of being beaten, only to tell me I couldn't, and then beat me anyway. Stop complaining! Take your clothes off and get in here already! Well, damn! Wow, you actually heated the hot tub by your mere presence. That's because I'm a lampad. Meaning I have a very hot body. Keep dreaming. I told you, if you want to look, it's fine. I keep telling you, I'm not looking. Besides, staring at you is like staring at my mom or something. Because I'm like a mentor to you. That's what you meant, right? Whatever helps you sleep at night. No, Anne, you can't come in here. I thought that I made it clear. Come on, Remu. Just let her in. It's already crowded enough as it is. And I didn't want anyone in here with me to begin with. So go on. Go back inside. That idea is long gone. You might as well just let her in. Hey, on. Stop complaining, take your clothes off and get in here already! Wow, it really worked! This is getting ridiculous! It's getting uncomfortably crowded in here! I can't stand it anymore. Hey, where are you going? Don't give me that. You ruined my hot tub experience. You're just being petty and selfish. 
Is that so? All right then. Have fun with the next person who comes by. What a party pooper. Well, this is her hot tub. Maybe you guys should have been more respectful. Not me, of course. I can do whatever I want. Nah, she's just being selfish. Besides, there's room for one more now. I wonder who's going to drop by next? Grandma really did get a hot tub. It was so nice of her to invite me. Haven't had a bath in years. Oh, it's hideous! No, not you. You'll leave hair everywhere. You're too tiny. You'll get lost in the currents of the jets. You'll poison the water and kill us all. No way. You'll just end up steamed and served in a platter. You're going to end up either melting or freezing me to death. You came all the way from the moon for this? I know you'll definitely pee in my hot tub. Get out of here. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why don't you remove your blouse and join me right now? Change my mind. Marissa? Stop complaining, take your clothes off and get in here. On to the next one. It's hideous, but I'd still bang her. 